We've lots of our sewing patterns, including needle cord and corduroy as recommended fabrics. You may have already guessed that we love corduroy here at Tilly and the Buttons. Corduroy, which is made of cotton, sometimes blended with polyester, has visible ribs or whales running down its lengthwise grain. The width of the ribs can vary from jumbo cord, which has wide whales, to finer needle cord or pin cord. Corduroy is great for making dungaree dresses, skirts, trousers and jackets. Try the super comfy Erin Dungarees, the 70s inspired Jessa jeans, or our best-selling Cleo Pinafore. Finer needle cord is also lovely for shirts and dresses, such as the Rosa shirt or Lyra dress. So what do you need to know when cutting and sewing with corduroy? Here are our top tips to get a great result. Decide which direction you want the nap to lie. Run your hand along the corduroy's ribs. The pile will feel smooth one way, slightly rough the other way. It will also look slightly different from each direction, so decide which way you want the pile to lie before cutting out the pattern. Then cut all the pieces pointing in the same direction. Keep the ribs straight when cutting. Take extra care when cutting out the corduroy to keep it on the grain. Cut with the right side of the fabric up so you can see the ribs and line them up with the grain line arrows or fold lines of your pattern pieces. Keep the ribs straight when sewing. If you're sewing a straight vertical seam, such as the strap or the centre seams on the Cleo pinafore, take your time to sew in line with the ribs on the fabric so you don't end up with twisted looking seams. When you're top stitching a vertical seam, such as down the sides of the patch pockets, keep the needle lined up with the channel between the ribs. Avoid squishing the pile. Lower the presser foot and the thread tension on your sewing machine so the pile doesn't get crushed. You could also increase the stitch length to 3mm, particularly if you're sewing jumbo cord. Pressing can squash the ribs too, so keep it to a minimum, and use a scrap of the same fabric as a pressing cloth. Place it right sides together with the garment so the whales will cushion each other and soften the impact of the iron. Be prepared to make a mess. Corduroy is one of those fabrics that can shed all over the place. Finish the seam allowances with a zigzag stitch, an overlocker or serger to stop them from fraying, trimming off any loose threads first if you need to, and give your sewing machine a good clean inside and out after sewing. Keep a lint roller handy when cutting and sewing corduroy so you can quickly clean yourself up afterwards. We hope you'll love sewing with corduroy as much as we do. 